let him bug you, honey. He's kind of got a screw loose. He's got you on the rock, sweetie. Don't do that again. <laughs> what? what are you going to do to me? <laughs> No, thanks. Why not? I'm busy in case you didn't notice. Don't get sassy with me. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. Two weeks. I need to get paid. Really? And you're gonna need to find another waitress because I can't work here anymore. Why not? I'm moving. You move away if you ain't got no money. You owe me two hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Uh, you got your tips. Most of them, anyway. Jackie, let's just be fair. What the hell are you talking about fair? You quit on me without any notice. You know, I got rights, you know. I'm your employer. You got to give me notice before you quit on me. That's what I'm trying to do. That's yeah, some nerve little girl walking in here and telling me you're going to quit. Now, who gave you the job when no one in this town knew who you were or liked what they saw? It was me, wasn't it? All right, her, I, I'll stay for two weeks. I, I just need the money so that... So, so that, that what? You can get a bus ticket out of here? You hear that, little brother? She thinks I'm some kind of idiot. Maybe she'll dance for us. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, just take off your clothes. Get up on the bar there. And if you're good, then maybe you'll get the money. I just want to go home. Please let me go, Jenny. You embarrassed me tonight in front of my friends. I'm sorry. Hey, you feel real good, just like a female shit. Get your hand. See what you got under there. Off of me! Get your hand. Hey, get off the damn table. Then you know how expensive that is to fix. I forgot how much fun this is.
Well, darling, what can I do you for? What can I get for a buck seventy-five? Running away? Hungry. Mind? Hey, you be nice, and I'll be nice back. It's one of those things you're supposed to learn in kindergarten. You eat eggs and meat, or are you one of those animal lovers? Anything. Well, you just hang on, and I'll whip something up for you. A house special, buck seventy-five. Okay by you? Curly, house special, babe. Sure thing, Dorothy. Vitamin C. Thanks. Man trouble, huh? If you had a wish. What would it be? What are you, some fairy godmother? Just thought you might like some pleasant conversation. Thought that might be a change for you. What would you wish? Oh, I always wish for the same thing: <laughs> to win the lottery. <laughs> At night, when I fall asleep, oh, I'm out there spending money like crazy. I used to wish for different things: somebody to love me good, nothing extra. Just the same as what everybody else got, but now I'm happy. So all I need is money. It's a waste of time, wishing. Oh no, honey, you're wrong. Wishing it makes it so. Only you gotta say it out loud. Just thinking it's not enough. Like this. I'm gonna win the lottery. Real sure of yourself. Hey, hon. I'll make you a deal. Meals on me, if you make a wish. No oh, thanks. Well, I wish you luck. One great big old lucky star. Sounds kind of weird, but um, I just kind of had a fight with my boyfriend, and I, I need a ride. And uh, so I was wondering if. Gee, I'm sorry. I don't know. Um. Hi. What's up? She needs a ride. She was asking if we could. Oh, sorry. Nothing personal. I just don't. Uh, I don't feel comfortable giving people rides. Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. She seems okay. Kath. What's she gonna do? Come on. I mean, she looks so, you know, sad. Hey. Where are you headed? West. How about you? Mission Vista. That'd be good. Where's your stuff? Ame. Okay, come on. Hop in front. She needs to keep her foot up. Hi, I'm Sean. Liddy, thanks. I'm Catherine. Glad we can help. Oh, my bouquet. We're newlyweds. Really? Uh, um, how long have you been married? Oh, about uh, 18 hours by now. <laughs> At your service, miss. And as we came around the corner, it was the last hurdle, and I was in the lead. But then the horse jumped, and I didn't. And it wasn't your fault. I can't do anything wrong, according to my husband. <laughs> I've noticed. So you guys eloped? 
Mm, yeah, I don't have any family left, and his family... My mother, God bless her, would have taken over. Would have become one of those weddings for 500, you know, where all the guests are in taffeta and tails. <laughs> they are never going to forgive us. Not me, anyway. <laughs> they are going to love you a thousand percent. You'll see. So you haven't met them yet? No. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Sean picked it out. It's a little big, kind of slides off, but I'm going to get it fixed when we get back. You want to try it? Uh, no, thanks. Makes your hand look really pretty. Come on, try it. So who's got the popcorn? Uh, you ate half the bag already. <laughs> that is so not true. take a good look at you. Did I tell you she was tough as nails? Yeah, you're gonna be okay, sweetheart. Excuse me. Mr. Shaughnessy? Okay, let's uh, remove the tube and redress the leg. Yes, doctor. Negative C-spine. No contrast on the CT scan. Okay, Catherine, we're gonna keep you under observation for a week or so. I'm sorry about your loss, sir. Your daughter-in-law was lucky she was thrown from the car before it exploded. We found bits of the wreckage, but the river must have dispersed most of it. The uh, current's very strong this time of year. Thanks. Thank the team for us. Yes, sir. This is just to help you relax, Catherine. Don't you dare. I've got chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Maybe it's an old wives' tale, but I don't care. I think it makes you feel better. I have barley or a vegetable if you'd rather. <sighs> We've got this deli. Uh, they make everything from scratch. Real mom and pop operation, you know, old fashioned. Nobody should have to eat on it. 
plastic. Mm. There you go. Okay, dig in. Thank you. This is so nice, but I need to tell yeah, you. Something. You know, I have strict instructions. They want you to lay really low, so you just let me do all the jabbering. Okay? I need to tell you something. Not now. Okay, I, I'm serious. They'll throw me out of here. So you just rest and get something to eat. You know what? I didn't know what your taste was. I thought hospital things are just so unflattering. And if you have to stay here for a week or two, I thought you might as well, you know, be comfortable. I can see Shawnee in your eyes. I can see him like he's sitting right here. We're gonna be just fine, you and me. We'll be just fine. There you go. Watch your step. Well, kid, home sweet home. It's real pretty. Yeah. But well, down the road is Haverville. Their cabs are not as good as ours, but they have a solid Chardonnay. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Uh, Donald compares everybody by their tannic content. <laughs> um, on the other side over here, our, our friends have some stables, and you have an open invitation to go ride whenever you want. We heard you took a blue ribbon in some big national competition. <laughs> well, Sean was just really proud of all your accomplishments. Maybe in a couple of weeks when she's all healed, huh? Sure. Let's not rush things. Of course. Oh, good. You're home. Yes, come meet Catherine. Catherine, this is Blanca. My right arm and leg, and finger and toes. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without her. Anything I can do, Mrs. I am so sorry about everything. Thank you. Blanca's been with us ten years. She's just like family. <laughs> well, um, can I get you some tea? Oh, yes, I think that's just what we need. So, oh, um, well, come on, Catherine, we'll show you your room. This used to be Sean's room, but I wanted you to have a grown-up room for when you two came to visit. I hope you're happy here. Sorry, excuse me. Maybe this isn't such a great idea, me staying here. I know how difficult this is for you. 
Where would you go? Sean told us about your family. I'm sorry we'll never get a chance to meet them. Oh, I could stay with friends. I, I just think... Listen to me. You're all we have left is Sean. If you left now, it would break her heart. Same about you. Excuse me. Thanks. You never think it's gonna happen to you, huh? No. How are you doing here with Donald and Maureen? Fine. They're so nice. Yeah. That's a stupid question, I guess. They're only the most wonderful people on the planet. Just making conversation. You don't have to. You want to take a walk? Yeah. You know, we didn't really see much of each other in the past few years. We kind of went our separate directions, but we never lost that bond. Yeah. I don't even know how you met. It happened so fast, huh? I never thought that Mr. Shaughnessy would be the type to have a quickie wedding with the mystery bride. How'd that happen? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's too soon. It's okay. Tell me about him. What was he like when he was a kid? <sighs> he was a hellraiser. Boy, you know, we used to make these go-kart things. And John's dad would just be yelling and screaming at us. He was bashing it inside the barn. I like the sermon. Especially the part about his confirmation. He remembered all those funny details. Good miss him.
looking good. I think you've got that magic touch. It doesn't matter anymore. Red wine, white wine. It's the 21st century. You look great, I'm sure. Thanks for coming back. These are the last ones. Oh, okay. Cool. What about the Pinot Noirs? Any more of those? I check in the back. Oh, good sale. How would you like to really learn the wine business? Mm, I don't know. This is enough for me. Why? I don't know. Come on. How about you learn to register and run the store? We had a young gal doing it, but she went back to college. It would be great to have somebody I could really trust. I don't know anything about wine. <laughs> that sounds like a yes. Congratulations. I'll teach you the petty cash and the books, and with you living here, you'll be a wine connoisseur in no time. Mrs. Catherine, uh, Blanca says she needs you in the house. Oh, sure, no problem. Catherine, do you want to sign? It's, it's for you. After the accident, Mrs. Shaughnessy didn't think that you would be up to packing the apartment, so she had the movers send yours and Sean. I'll go get you started. I'd like to do this myself. It's just... I understand. It's okay. like something to eat? Lunch is just about ready. Look, um, I'm not hungry right now. I just need to be alone for a while, okay? Light's great here. Why don't we take a couple more right oh. here in front of the table? Okay. Right. I'm gonna have lipstick on my teeth. No, you're perfect as usual. Hey, Kat. Come on, get in here. Uh, I got a lot of work to do. Oh, come on. Come on, we need some young blood. Come on, Jenny. Nah, I, 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 I don't want to. I... Kat, you're gonna insult me. Come on, sweetheart. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, everybody smile. Real pretty. Hey, Jed, good to see you. Oh, what a nice surprise. Hey, you want to stay for dinner? Actually, I was um, wondering if Catherine would like to take a break from you two. Kath? Uh, I'm really not feeling that great. Oh, come on. You look fine. I probably just bored of these old fogies. Go ahead, you have some fun. Okay. I'll bring her home later. Have a good time, sweetheart. So, how things been going? She's so quiet, shy. Yeah. So nice. I can understand why he didn't want us to have a big wedding. I think he thought we'd overpower her. Wow. It's Rosewood from Brazil. We can't get in anymore. I was lucky to find some stock at the yard. See the grain? See those spirals? 
Cellulose particles contract when the temperature drops. It's amazing, isn't it? You like what you do. Went to medical school for a while. That was the worst time of my life. I should take it down in the shop sometime if you'd like to see it. Yeah, I like that. So, um, this girl you're telling me about, why'd you stop seeing her? She was great. She was smart, capable, beautiful. I don't know. There was just no magic. She just wasn't the one, you know? Here, I'll take that. So, you think there's only one woman out there for you, Jake? <laughs> yeah. In a strange way, I do. I believe in fate, karma. I'm an intuitive person. I trust my instincts. Instincts. What? Nobody knows anything about anybody. I bet I know something about you. Yeah? What do you know? I think that you are more than you seem. I think you're more complicated than everyone thinks. And I can't quite figure out what's going on in there. Maureen and Dawn will think I'm some porcelain doll. But I'm not. I'm no angel. What are you? I don't know anymore. You've been through a lot. You need to give yourself a break. You want some coffee? That'd be nice. Take me home. A little thank you for being so wonderful to me. Oh, Kathy, you didn't have to. It's very exciting presents in the morning. Donald, look. Oh, well, I, I know about how he used to make you read it over and over to him. How the sound of your voice made him feel so good. Even at Dartmouth, he'd call late at night just to hear your voice. I love those calls. Well, I didn't. You two would keep me up half the night with all that yammering. How sweet. I'm very touched. Thank you. You gotta eat something. Mm, I, I will a little later. I'm just, I just don't have much of an appetite. I don't know. Things just don't taste right. You know, you haven't been eating well for a few days. Maybe we should go see Dr. Bennett. No, I'm fine, really. Excuse me. Coming by later, handsome? Maybe. No, maybe yes, maybe no. I mean, I get tired of waiting for you. Maybe yes, maybe no. I like it better when I keep you guessing, don't you? All right, I'll wait for you. Oh, hey, Jackie, isn't this that girl? Nah, couldn't be. What? That girl. Oh, God, the one that... What are you talking about? We should take this to the cops. That looks just like her, huh? I mean, do you think that could be her? Shaughnessy. My. Oh, my. That explains the fatigue and nausea. You're about 11 weeks into it. It should be due sometime late April. 
that springtime baby, just like Sean. Yeah, um, Mission Vista, California. What listening do you like, sir? Um, Shaughnessy Vineyards. Cat, come see what we found in the basement. It's full of cobwebs, but I think it's going to clean up very nicely. Oh, look at that. Oh, honey, I know this must be hard for you, but babies bring luck. They really do. You'll see it's going to be wonderful. Oh, yeah, you have nothing to worry about, sweetheart. We're here for you in every way. Oh, look. It's Sean's christening gown. <laughs> That with a little bleach, Lanka can make this as good as new. Oh, yeah. I'll get it. Hi. Oh, hi, Chad. Hey. You having a garage sale? <laughs> Catherine's pregnant. <laughs> Almost three months. Huh? Just think. A little piece of Sean back in our lives. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. so honey it's just one of those things that happens when you're pregnant all of a sudden boom really <laughs> yeah when i was first married i was a uh, what you'd call flat chester <laughs> you <laughs> oh i hated it of course i didn't admit it to anybody but then i got pregnant with sean and for the first time in my life my breasts preceded me into a room <laughs> Oh, I felt like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> um, <laughs> have something for you. Put 
was my grandmother's. She also had to survive great adversity. I want you to have it. It's an heirloom. Passed from generation to generation. And now it's yours. To hand down. It's beautiful, Lola, but I can't. Oh, yes. You can. <laughs> Shaughnessy Vineyards. They make great wine. They really do, don't they? I don't drink wine. Hey, do you need some help with that, man? No, thank you. Yeah, they just won an award for one of them. Uh, I saw it in the paper. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you. No, I'm a big fan of their wine. Big fan. I saw a picture of the family. There you are. Thank you. Good-looking people. I didn't know they had a daughter, though. Kathy? Catherine. Daughter-in-law. Oh, daughter-in-law. Also, oh, where's the son? He passed on. Oh, I'm sorry. It's terrible. Recently? A few months ago. Car accident. Thank you. No problem. All right. Um, you know, I'd really love to pick up a couple of cases. Do you know of any store around here I should go? Well, there's a wine shop at the vineyard. Really? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, maybe I'll see you there. All right, take care. Say red is definitely our color. Uh, can you go get another case? Mr. Shanisi said to put it in the bar. I know, just get another one, okay? I have an idea for a display. You better go. Who thought a piece of trash could smell so sweet? I told you to get out of here. I don't know what carousel you hopped on, baby, but I'd advise you not to ignore me or I'll hack it to pieces for firewood. You meet me here tonight. I can't, they... I'm warning you. Do not play games with me. Be there. I don't know where to start. 
You know, the police would love to know who killed my brother. What? You didn't know? Or you didn't care? I had no idea. He died right away. Not too much pain. You got a main artery. He did good. Real good. Me, I just got 16 stitches and lost the feeling on the left side of my neck. So how's it feel to be a wanted woman? It was self-defense. He raped me. You. I never laid a finger on you. No one is going to believe a word you say. And these rich people that you're sucking dry, do you think they're going to stick by you when they find out what a rotten slut you really are? They know everything, and they don't care. <laughs> so who's Catherine? What's it going to take for you to go away? I'm not sure. Something to make it worth my while. Money to start off with. I don't have money. Oh, really? I see your watch. I've seen your car. Got mine back, by the way. Thank you very much. They were gifts. These people take care of me. I don't have money of my own. Well, you're a smart girl. You'll figure it out. I'll give you a couple of days. Here's my number. Don't forget to call. Hey, man. Drinks are on her. something off with the cooling system, so they'll be working around here until after lunch. So put out a sign, we'll open up at two. Okay. We can add thief to your list of crimes. You're getting pretty good at this. Look, I am sorry about what happened to your brother. I am sorry that you have to live with that. But I don't ever want to see you again. Pain and suffering. You ever hear of that? It's going to take more to cover the pain and suffering. I want a lot more. Ten. 20, 30,000 bucks. Maybe more. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Goodbye, Jeff. You dare piss me off, or I'll call your bluff, little lady. Did I get that money, but you'll be watching your back for the rest of your life. Do you hear me? Yes. Let go, you yes. are to me. Tablecloth. What's wrong? Before you left, did you return the cash to the safe? Oh my god, I forgot. I just came from there. There's nothing left. Oh no. 
Oh, I am so sorry. Well, these things happen. Oh, how stupid. I, I, I guess I just got distracted when the repairman came up. I'm sorry. It's not the money. It's the idea that somebody right under your nose would do such a thing. Time no see. Hi. I got some for you. It's for you. Well, sort of. Is it pine? Yeah, you learn fast. It's beautiful. You're incredible. I've been thinking. Especially while I was working on this little guy. Uh, I know that we haven't known each other for a long time, but, uh, you know, with the baby coming. Who is it? Oh, Jed! What happened? Uh, I upset her. Uh, well, I'll go. It's the hormones, they can make you crazy. I know, it must be so hard. You're all so good to me. We love you. In all my life, I have never met people like you. You know, you've never talked much about your family. My mother died when I was six. The only relative that they could find was my father's brother, who wasn't much better than him. He molested me when I was uh, too young. And it lasted for a while. I ended up in a foster home. 15 other losers. On my 18th birthday, they handed me 40 bucks and wished me luck. <sighs> Sorry. I had no idea. You are all so good to me. And I don't deserve it. Bad things happen to good people. What's done to you in meanness doesn't rub off on you. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. I don't care what you've done. A person isn't made up of their past. A person is made up of some secret stuff deep inside them. And I like your secret stuff. You have so much goodness in you. Oh, I'm interrupting. No, it's okay. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. I'm the idiot. You're very sweet. Just give me time, okay? Sure. No problem. I'll get it. Sean, see you in here. It's gonna help you. You know, you look good in green. What's keeping you? Yes, uh, we have plenty of cases. Quite a few, in fact. Tick tock. I'll see you inside.
they're real. It's 150 years old. They're diamonds in an emerald. I'm not going to get a damn thing for this. Who the hell's going to buy that? It's not just a bracelet. It's like... It belongs in a museum. And someone thought you were worth enough to wear it, huh? Yes, they did. To have it. I guess they were wrong. That's a lot of money for you, Jackie. Move away. Start again. It doesn't always have to be like this. Straight from the horse's mouth. In my wildest dreams, I never imagined that I could have this. Damn right. I'm not talking about the money. I don't care about that. I have a family. Really good people who really love me. Can't you understand that? We are from the same ugly life. You and me. And I don't even blame you for how you are. Because I know what it must have been. You don't know a damn thing about me. Not a damn thing. Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. We have a deal, right? The past is the past. It's over. It's done. Can you promise me that it's over? Is there somewhere in that body of yours that I can make a promise? With a cherry on top. Goodbye, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Good luck. do this since the moment I met you. Hey, slow down. I'm not going anywhere. Let's hope that this Cabernet Sauvignon does as well as the Malone did last year. Well, time for the toast, Maureen. Thank you, friends, neighbors, enthusiasts of this fine elixir. As many of you know, this has been a difficult year for us. Maureen and I have lost our son. Yet out of this time comes something wonderful. Our daughter-in-law, Catherine, has come to live with us and soon will be welcoming their child. <laughs> Catherine, here's to the angels, in heaven and on earth. To the angels. To the angels. To the angels. To the angels. Oh. 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 
Guess that means I'm going to be an uncle. Can't be here. You know, you deserve one of those big acting awards. Why didn't you tell me you were knocked up? Why should you care? That's my brother's baby here, Karen. That's the only family I have left. Get out of here. We had a deal. You know, that gift improved my outlook on life. And I get these words like expenses and overhead. You know? There is nothing left. I gave you everything I've got. Hi, Catherine. I don't think so. No. This is never gonna stop. I am finished. I want my brother back. And he's gone forever. And you should be rotten in some prison somewhere. But no, you're living like a damn princess. Donald. Hey, those wines you sold me, they were fine, man. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. I see you've met Catherine. Oh, yeah. Hey, Donald. Hey. Tomorrow night after midnight. This is my number in case you lost it. I want the jackpot to be big. Very big. Hey, Walker. Beautiful party. Who's that? He stopped me at the market once. Asked me a whole lot of questions. What about? About the winery. About her. I don't know, Jed. Jed, my friend here wants to build a bar and entertainment center. Is that something you think you can make? <laughs> sure. There you go. I told you, Jed's good. Everything's been put away. All the guests are gone. I got tired, sorry. So who was that guy? Who? Maybe I want too much. Maybe you're not supposed to know everything about the people you love. Maybe life is supposed to be about the he said this and she said that. My parents talk about nothing except recipes and the weather. But when we make love, I can feel that you're not one of those people. Are you? No. Why won't you let me in? I want more than that. Catherine, give me a hand with that new case, will you? Be careful with it. It's my new Petrus, 1961. I had it bought at auction. Fool that I am. Paid 35,000 bucks for it. What? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. So, uh, how old is the oldest? Oh, I've got some Napoleonic thing here, 18-something. If you think the Petrus was expensive. A hundred years old? Oh, yeah. And I bet it's undrinkable, too. But that's what happens to collectors. They lose their minds. I'm guilty, I admit it. So what makes them so special? Collectors? <laughs> Wines. <laughs> Vintages are funny things, you know? There are people that, uh that think that there's an absolute truth to what makes a good year and a bad year. You see this wine? And this was bottled. It was thought to be inferior. Oh, there was a heat wave in August. The skin shriveled on the vine. The sugars and tannins concentrated. Everything seemed to go wrong that year. And everyone assumed that the wine would be lean, you know? But after it was selling for a while, maturity brought to it something that no one expected. So, now is it a good wine? Oh, not just a good wine, a valuable one. You see, 
Wines are like people. They should be judged after they've aged a bit, you know? That's when a wine and a person's true nature emerge. Chateau de Yacam? <laughs> Chateau de Yacam, 1959. You've got good taste. Let's have it with dessert. Isn't it a little special for an ordinary Tuesday night meal? <sighs> Shall I wait until I'm in the nursing home to drink it? <laughs> Come on. We'll invite Jed. We'll call it a soiree. Yeah, it'll be fun. Meet me at the bar at 12. Thanks again for dinner. Night. Sure. I'm glad Donald would call. I wanted to talk to you. I'm sorry about the other night. You deserve your privacy. I've got no right. Yes, you do. It's me, Jed. Don't you see that? Don't you see that it's me who doesn't deserve you? I wish you'd tell me why you've got such a low opinion of yourself. Why well, you keep so much locked up inside. Oh, please. Sean is not the father of this baby. What? You think you know me. But you don't. You have no idea. And you put me on this pedestal. It's that guy. Just forget about me, okay? I'm just a screw up and a cheat. up with you and Jen? No, we're, we're fine, really. Night. Hey, come no. here. Come here. Can 
He's a wonderful young man. Interesting how life turns out sometimes, huh? Yeah. You know, we're very proud of you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You've come through a lot with grace and dignity and intelligence. I'm proud to call you my daughter. Thank you. Really. For everything. Dear Maureen and Donald, I don't know how to start. I guess I'm sorry is the best thing. I'm leaving. It's all over. We had a deal. That's when I cared. I'm not gonna hurt and lie to these people anymore. Thank you again. Now, what do you got for me? You have got plenty from these people, and so do I. So leave them alone. Yeah. <laughs> now I can squeeze very tight. And no one will know. Or you can give me what I want. I am gone, so don't come back here. Move. Move. my way. Ow. So where's the score? Right here. You need the keys. Well, that never stopped me before. Here, hand me that crowbar. Get it yourself. Are you trying to take me off? really valuable stuff in here. You won't be able to pawn it off to just anybody, but wine dealers will know.
1988. Hell, I've been in a bar most of my life, never seen anything like this. Look, let's just take these and those over there and let's get out of here. So, you're in this together? Ted. Hello there. No, I'll, I'll take care of this. Yeah. Yeah, you do that, Buttercup. Yes, we are in this together. I'm not Catherine. She died in the crash along with Sean. I was hitching a ride with them, and, and, and Donald in the hospital, he just assumed, and, and I was running away. I had been raped. Who is this guy? Call the police. Yeah, I'm sure the police would love to hear from you. There was a knife. The guy who raped me, he died. Hey, what? Is he blackmailing you? Come on, let's go. a condo and a jacuzzi. No, 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 no. Just stay real close to me. That's right. will be here. We've got to get you inside, get you to a doctor.
You know, when Sean was born? Donald and I you used to talk about how lucky we were that he chose us for his parents. I guess some people aren't quite so fortunate. All I have ever known is how to get by. And I never knew what it was like to care until I met you. Be all right. Be all right. Come on. I don't understand why you all don't hate me. What you've been through? I can't imagine. I love you. Whoever you are. that I met Sean and Catherine there was a lady who, who told me that when you make a wish you have to say it out loud I wish that I can be happy and make all of you proud of me <laughs> <laughs> 